his son And when his daddy would visit he'd come along When they gather around and started talking That's when Billy would take me walking Out through the back uh, well, if you don't know the story, the story basically is uh, the Italian government uh, seized Mr. Percival illegally. We took him to court. We won our court case, and then they've just returned the vote back at the end of 2022. So it's been three years: 2020, 21, 22, and here's Mr. Al Mr. <laughs> Mr. Percival sitting in the port of Alghero in Sardinia in Italy, and uh, I have just returned back to the boat. To, uh, to come and inspect how everything is uh, and what we're going to do from this point on. So whilst I'm here, I've got the little drone out, I'm doing a little bit of flying around, and so I thought I'd share with you um, some of the scenes so far. This is just uh, the first couple of days here in here in Algeta. So it's a beautiful marina, it's a beautiful day, um, loads of boats here, there's an old city, a big, big wall that uh, keeps uh, the marina protected from the ocean. And uh, and all these little arms are typically owned by just individual um, pier owners. So there's loads of different um, marinas. So the arm that Mr. Percival is on is owned by uh, one particular owner, and uh, and they're responsible for all the, all the boats uh, on the marina. The city of Alghero is just beautiful. On the right hand side there you can see the old town and then the new new development. In the background is Sardinia. Just out of the city is. Um, it's, it's farmland, it's um, olives and, uh, and citrus trees and things like that. And then as we swing around to the north you'll see um, the, the, the city becomes hotels. So the hotels are all along the beach. This place absolutely pumps in summer. And uh, these beaches are just chock-a-block full. And then as we spin quickly around way up towards the north there, you can see these hills and um, and the far off distant, uh, these are all national parks, so they're stunning national parks, which you're going to see in a second. Here is a typical little boat. Uh, there's, there's a whole fleet of these fishing boats uh, in, the, in this port. Um, and all of the restaurants, there's loads of seafood restaurants here in Aguero. When I got to the boat, uh, I was. it really hasn't changed that much from, the, from the, on the outside. I. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of damage from um, being out in the sun and just, you know, UV damage, but effectively it's, it's much the same, I think. There's a beautiful boat next next door, um, brand new boat, which I am kind of secretly, uh, uh, well, not secretly, very envious of, but I'm secretly filming it, and um, uh, it, it is stunning. Uh, you put the two boats together, one's 40 years old, one's brand new, and... Um, uh, just the, the beam, uh, the thickness of the, the width of the back of this boat is just uh, enormous. The transom is, is probably about as wide as, as what uh, Mr. P is on midships. It's enormous. Beautiful cockpit and uh, beautiful, beautiful cover there. Night time in Alghero. I've just taken the drone up. Now this is one of these things, these moments when I was, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning and um, I couldn't sleep so I set the drone up. Um, just to uh, have a look around and see what sort of shots I would get at night time. A bit of fun just playing around with the drone and flying over the street when there's, um, when there's no one about. Uh, and so you can see, um, see in the city, the, the, the old city is, um, is fortified. There's this big, um, beautiful wall around it. And so that's the old city in the, in the, um, in the right there. Um, I haven't got any shots of inside the city uh, flying a drone in there is a little bit challenging. But it is beautiful. It's a really, really beautiful town. And then of course flying back to the boat at night time uh, and then coming in and landing on the boat. Some good challenges there. This is Capacaccio. Capacaccio. A beautiful um, little point at the end of this national park here and um, massive cliffs. These cliffs run uh, up the, up the uh, west coast of this little island. So this is looking back at Aguero. It's uh, Aguero's uh, behind this, this headland that you can see there. This is just a, a, an inlet of water, so it's quite a fair way away. But this was just as the sun is coming up in the morning and then I came back later in the afternoon to do a um, sunrise. So that's sun, sunrise and then I came back in the afternoon and did sunset. So this is the sunrise on these beautiful cliffs here. Stunning bit of 
standing bit of land, this beautiful uh, lighthouse on the top of the hill here. Uh, and you'll get a little bit of a glimpse of just how beautiful these, um, this scenery is. The foliage along here, I just, I was mesmerized by the foliage here. There's just some stunning bits of foliage. Some of it looks like it's it's been landscaped. It looks like um, it's almost clipped topiaries uh, of, of plants, various plants from here. The stonework uh, is just beautiful. This is a pathway up to the lighthouse. And at the top of this cliff, right by, uh, where this little bridge is, there's a set of stairs, which you're gonna see in a, in a minute, that take you down to this cave. A spectacular cave at Dennis. But it's miles down. And um, and there, there's a little house here, um, which in summer becomes a bar and, and cafe and things. So um, this is the other side. So now we're in sunset looking at these cliffs on the west coast of this of Sydney. And um, at the bottom of this cliff, there's this spectacular big um, cave. Loads of people. There's lots of different companies that come out here and take loads of um, people out here. So we've this little rock that you see uh, just off the cliffs here, this island. Um, on the back side of that, there's also another big cave, which when we came down from Spain, um, we were able to put the, the, the nose of Mr. Percival into this cave. It was just, um, it's enormous. But these cliffs are just stunning. So you can see here, this is this big cave that I'm talking about, and boats bring people from Alguero into here, and you can follow this flight of stairs down to the to the entrance as well. And inside there's stalactites and stalagmites, and um, it's a stunning cave. But this pathway has been carved into the side of the cliff. It is a remarkable construction. And when, there's, when the drone's quite a fair way out, you sort of get a little bit of a sense of scale of just how uh, how nearly impossible to build that thing would have been, and I'll show you some shots in a second. It's a really stunning headland, and we've, when we came, when we arrived, there was no wind. It was very similar to what it's looking like at the moment, and we were able to just drive the boat effectively just almost hard up against these cliffs and I've also been diving so these cliffs um, on the inland side there just continue down about 20 or 30 meters down into the into the um, into the sea here is that pathway and you don't unfortunately get much of a sense of scale of it um, in these shots here but um, uh, to build this thing would have been absolutely uh, challenging as. So if you're coming back <laughs> along these stairs and you've got to, there's a lot of steps to climb, uh, you find your way uh, all the way to the beginning um, where you started from and, uh, and there's even more steps to climb up. I know this is going to go on a bit, but um, this is just me having a little bit of fun with the drone. Very, very nervous flying around here. So my first flight that I did around here, I went behind the... I was going to do this um, sort of uh, circular thing around the, the lighthouse, and then I lost signal because just the rock. No um, transmission is, is penetrating through this rock. And so this is, this is the start of this path, and uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stairs. And then in the background there, you can see our girl. So can you imagine building this, these stairs to start with? Looking down there, it's just, you can see the water, that little tiny little uh, blue spot at the bottom there. It's a long, long way down. And, uh, and to build these things 
the build this thing on the side of the cliff is just remarkable. I love this little uh, piece that's holding up the rocks above it. So if you're ever in our ghetto, two, two ways you can get to these caves. One is this pathway, one is by boat. Both are a fantastic option. And also on the other side of that of that cliff is this beautiful um, hollowed out cave. I guess it's just a section that's collapsed, but there's a, there's a set of steps that comes down here. Um, stunning pieces of foliage through here, and they lead their way down to this um, to this. I can call it a cave. I don't know what you call it. A fissure. So that's pretty much it for me, uh, from Aguero, stu still dealing with customs, still dealing with lawyers, uh, I've got people coming out and assessing the yacht soon, and uh, Christmas in a few days time, and then I'm going to head over to Naples, and then um, uh, come back and do more boat stuff. At this one. <laughs> so this is me walking along beside the marina here. Um, now I was going to do this nice big long introduction and I've got my wireless microphones wired up to me and uh, <laughs> and I'm talking away but really just mumbling and uh, nothing really important to say. So the drone uh, you can see here is actually doing these circles around me and whilst it's circling around me it's seeing the, the poles along uh, the side here and um, and it has this obstacle avoidance um, mechanism. So whilst it's doing circles around me, it's also looking at all the um, all the terrain here, and um, uh, able to avoid all of these poles. Hopefully, not so much the, the thin wires. I uh, <laughs> you can see the um, uh, gadia of uh, finance through there, and these rocks. Uh, sometimes you get these massive waves coming through here do a fantastic job of dissipating all that energy instead of it slamming into a uh, into a hard solid concrete wall to so the marina on uh, on this side and uh, open ocean on the other side so this footage just sped up about five times this is me just um, one of the functions of the drone is you pick a point and it will lock in a, a certain point and you can just spin around and spin around and it'll just maintain its focus on that single point. So, um, see you later. <laughs>